The little EAF is a marvellous box that allows us to automate focusing in our telescopes, and it's generally a piece of equipment that we don't have to update very often. The latest update for the ASI Air has prompted some users to update their firmware, and that's caused a little bit of confusion to some who are unfamiliar with that process. So we're going to show you how to update your EAF the right way and give you our top three tips on ensuring a trouble-free upgrade. Hey everybody, my name's Simon. Welcome to AstroWorks, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy, where you can get hints and tips on how to get the best out of this amazing hobby. One of the regular issues we get asked about isn't that hard to do, but it seems to cause some confusion. With the recent version 2 update on the ASI Air, this seems to have popped up more than normal, so I thought we'd cover that off in today's program. I hope this little video is useful, so if so, and you'd like to see more, then please like and subscribe to us, and we'll get you instantly notified when we publish our updates. So when updating your ASI Air to version 2, you might receive a message that your EAF focus motor needs a firmware update, and to do that isn't too difficult. But it does need a few things ready beforehand. Whilst on the subject, it's worth reminding ourselves of a few key differences about some of the terminology we use around software, as they can be confusing. For the EAF, the update required is in firmware. This is the software that's installed on the EAF that gives it the parameters to operate, such as uh, how the motor steps are recognised, how backlash is interpreted, and even when to beep or not. And that's different from drivers. These are small pieces of code written so that a computer can communicate with the EAF via its USB. B port. Some items like cameras don't have the required drivers installed and you need to install them first to get your device going. Firstly, you might need to install the USB drivers so that the device is recognized by your computer. Then you might also need the ASCOM drivers so the imaging software can communicate with the device too. We'll cover off what ASCOM is in a future video as it's a subject all of its own. Updating the firmware on the EAF is quite easy. ZWO has provided a small set of update tools for download on the website. These are available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So let's see how to update our EAF the right way and look out for those top tips at the end of this video. So let's head off and um, get check out the Mac updater for a start. So head to Google and you can search for the ZWO software page. Now these pages are your friend. They carry a huge range of information, uh, product uh, specifications, connection diagrams, for example. And I highly recommend you visit those before you uh, send us an email. Now, what we're looking for here is the software page. And here you can find uh, drivers, but you can also find the update kit here. So click on firmware update. And then you will find the uh, updaters down at the bottom of the page here. There's one for Windows, one for Mac, and one for Linux. And you can also see the version here. And um, one thing to note here is that you may need, for Windows, you might need this little uh, VS2008 package as well. So what to do? Download the uh, updater to your machine and then open the updater. Ah, now this is an interesting one on the Mac. Um, you can see here that uh, it um, wanted um, an update to the security settings. So this is handy to remember. And um, you can then reset these so that you can open up something outside of the store. So then we can go ahead with this. Now, uh, make sure your EAF is connected before you start this. Uh, if it isn't and it doesn't find it, then you can press the scan button and it will find it. Uh, and then once you've... Uh, done that, click on firmware update, and you're going to look for the hex file, there it is, and then click open, and then it will start updating. Now this takes a, a little uh, minute or so, and um, then at the end of this you'll be able to disconnect the EAF and then uh, connect it all back up to your imaging rig. There we go, and that's now it completed. And then that should report next time when you actually connect to it that it is actually set to, uh, th in this case, 3.3.5. And that's pretty much it for the uh, Mac version. So I promised you the top three tips for helping you update your EAF, and 
here they are. Firstly, if you need, have a 12 volt EAF, make sure that you've got that available before you start and that you've got the right cable. If you've got a USB version, then there's nothing else to add. You can plug it in as normal. Secondly, if you're using a laptop, make sure the battery is charged because there is nothing worse than starting this process and then suddenly running out of battery. So always make sure if you're using a laptop that you're good and charged beforehand. And finally, the process is relatively simple. If you do run into issues, you can ask on the Facebook page for ZWO on the ASI Air page, or you can actually reach out to us at the ZWO support line as well. Thanks for watching. That's all from this program. If you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below if there is a problem or issue that you have that you'd like us to solve for you. Till next time, I'm Simon and you've been watching AstroWorks.